it's, all, it's terrific to be here uh, and to have the privilege of welcoming all of you, uh, both members of the uh, Berkeley community and those from, from outside. And uh, on behalf of both UC Berkeley and the entire uh, University of California system, including our Citrus partners in particular, I'm delighted to welcome you to Citrus Symposium 2006, Engineering a Better World. As a physicist, I might retitle it, Shankar, Engineering and Scientific <laughs> Better World. But, uh, of course, as you know, we have a terrific group here, uh, faculty, students, alumni, corporate partners, friends and volunteers, uh, and campus leaders. And I want to thank all of you for coming. Um, as some of you may know, uh, one of our finest colleagues and my very good friend, Dean Richard Newton, uh, is not able to join us here today because he's currently dealing with some medical issues. Uh, and I talked to Rich yesterday, and I'm quite confident that uh, if anybody can deal with these issues, it's Rich, and that, that we will look forward to, uh, to his rapid recovery. Uh, he's been in a hospital at UCSF and uh, uh, was just discharged uh, yesterday. And so Rich sends his best wishes to all of you and looks forward to being back on campus soon. Uh, it's now my pleasure to introduce another person I've become very good, had the good fortune of becoming very good friends with uh, in a short length of time, and that's the uh, rising, I guess it's called, uh, uh, chairman, new chair of the regents, uh, and also one of our own graduates, and also the uh, uh, creator uh, in part of the concept and also in providing resources for the newly founded Blum Center for Developing Economies, uh, which I call, when I talk to people, when Richard's not in the room, the Blum Center for the Alleviation of Global Poverty. The two are isomorphous with each other, which is a really wonderful, new, exciting venture here at Cal in which, in which uh, engineering generally and Citrus in particular uh, is playing and will, and will in the future even more so play a really critical role. Dick. Well, thank you, uh, Chancellor. And uh, it, it's not that I didn't know much about citrus until recently, and somebody explained to me it wasn't tangerines, lemons, and oranges. Um, but uh, I think one of the interesting concepts that uh, Bob Dines and the chancellors and others ha have talked about uh, really is the idea of being one university and ten campuses. And I guess citrus in many ways uh, has led uh, the university in that direction because I guess you've been up operating for about five years. And it's really Rich Newton um, who, better than anybody, articulated what is now uh, going to be the strategy of our new center. Uh, uh, it's, I call it the Center for Developing Economies because everything else gets called global poverty. And I got tired of hearing it. And I just thought developing economies sounded a little more upbeat. But um, where part of our mission really is to encourage a broad range of students to take an interest in the three million people on the planet who live on two dollars a day or less. A lot of what we want to do uh, is specific projects uh, for the university faculty and students where we have a competitive advantage, and that clearly is in technology and science. And um, Rich is really the one who said, look, uh, instead of just going to villages and uh, uh, poor countries and saying, how can we help you? Why don't we look at science and technical, uh, technological innovation and say, what can we do in these new developing fields that w can change people's lives for the better? So I, I think that uh, we will be working with you uh, in the future and with my other hat on uh, as chairman of the Board of Regents, um, just to let you know that anything I can ever do to help you uh, I'd like to be as helpful as I can because I think what you're doing is really important not only to the 
to the uh, university, to our state, but really to the nation and the world as a whole. So thank you very much.